as above, so below. This is a phrase you might have heard. It's a hermetic law. It's called the law of correspondence. What it means is that there are operating principles that exist at the higher levels of reality. And those replicate throughout creation. And so what is true in the macrocosm is true in the microcosm. There are certain laws which govern creation at all levels of reality. And so also as below, so above. This is why metaphors work so well in explaining spiritual concepts. And so EDL, the door. We've heard that it is not about the door, but about the doorway. And that which is able to pass back and forth, connecting. Because a doorway connects two different spaces, two different rooms, perhaps. However, at a higher level, what we're speaking of is on one side of the doorway is heaven. And on the other side is earth. The kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of earth. And what is it that moves back and forth through the doorway? It's not this body. I'm not showing up in heaven and then re-manifesting back in earth. But there is a body that moves through the doorway. It is our body of consciousness. And for ease and simplicity's sake, let us say that consciousness is made up of our thoughts and feelings, our mind and heart, our beliefs and attitudes. And so, as we move back and forth from this doorway, we have to be able to do so. See, the kingdom of heaven, what is the kingdom of heaven? Easily, it's where God lives. That's what is God? God is love. So on one side of the doorway, this is where love lives. All that is made from love, all that through creation. And in order to pass through the doorway, we must be resonant with the vibrations of love. In order to carry something from the kingdom of earth into the kingdom of heaven, it's very simple. Love, compassion, appreciation, gratitude, forgiveness. All of the qualities, seeing the potential, seeing the best in something, seeing what's possible. As we do this, our body of consciousness takes on the vibrations of love and is able to carry what is in this world into the world of the heavens, lifting it up by blessing it through our thoughts and feelings, our perceptions of what is by always living and bringing something into the highest in our own mind and in our own heart of feeling. And then what comes back through the other door? It is still our consciousness that is carrying something back and forth. And yet in order to bring from heaven back into the earth requires heart and mind. It requires an openness, open heart, open mind. It may be difficult to know when our heart is open and when our mind is open, but we know when it's closed. Yes, we know when we're tight in our thinking and we're tight in our feeling. And so how do we open it when it's closed? Open the mind and heart. Go back to the place of bringing stuff back into heaven. Start to infuse loving feelings and loving thoughts. You will open and then in order to bring something back from heaven into the earth requires not only open heart and mind, but a yielded heart and mind. The ability to yield as below, so above. You've driven on the interstate and the freeway where you come onto an on-ramp and there's this little triangle sign that says yield. And what do you do? You sit. You pause, you become still, you look and see what is it that's coming. And when there is something coming, you let it move. You let it pass, you let it move right through. It's the exact same principle. Except for this dynamic doesn't work in the timeline we experience in 3D. There is only one moment of now. And so imagine having an open heart and an open mind always present, still, receptive and responsive, watching and waiting to see what is it 
that wants to move from heaven and express through you into the earth. This is our commission, our responsibility, our opportunity. This is what it means to be an emissary of divine light, moving back and forth through the doorway between heaven and earth.